Hello guys, welcome to SWK Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a realistic grass using VRefer in Maya. So without any further ado, let's get started. This is a simple scene which has a one V-ray sunlight and on this mesh we will be creating V-ray for grass. So to create the grass, simply select your mesh, right click and assign it a new material. Then in your diffuse color, use a grass texture. I am using this grass texture from textures.com. This one, it's a free texture. Then if you need to adjust your texture in the mesh, you can adjust it, but right now it's coming perfect. Then select your mesh, go to V-Ray and click on V-Ray fur from here. Or the better way is that I, I simply right click here and add, click on add V-Ray fur to selection. Now render it. You can see that the result is too ugly right now. Cancel the render. Select your VRefer, make sure you are in your attribute editor and then go to VRefer node. Not the VRefer preview, go to VRefer node. Decrease your length to something like this. Render again. Now guys, if you see the V-ray fur length is low, but the thickness is too much. So again, cancel the result and this time decrease your thickness. I will decrease it to 0 0.005. Now guys, save your render and zoom here. If you look closely, this grass has some edges. If you look closely, it has edges over here. So to decrease these edges, you have to come to your options rollout here and decrease your no increase your knots. Right now they were 8, I will increase them from 8 to 16. Now render again. Now save the render again and compare them. You can see when the knots were 8, it has edges, this one. And when the knots were 16, the edges were, or you can say it is little bit more smooth. So when we start increasing the knot, it will become smooth more and more. We can still increase the knots a little bit more if you want. Like there are some still little bit of edges, but I think so. When I will zoom it out, it will work perfect. So I will just leave it like this because if I increase it more, it will increase my render time too. After adjusting the length and the thickness, the th third thing that I always do is that I set my taper value. What does the taper value do? When the taper value is zero, the width of the root and the width of the tip or end is the same. But when you increase the taper value, the width will remain same, but the end will become thin. And in grass, we always want the end or the tip to be thin. So I will increase the taper value to 0 0.8 and render again. Now save and compare. Just watch this. When the taper value was, watch these things. When the taper value was one, zero, it is like this. When the taper value is one, you can see they are becoming thin. Look at this. It is becoming thin. All of them are becoming thin. So in grass, we always have to increase the taper. Okay guys, after this, the next thing that I want to do is that I want to play with either the gravity or the bend for the curve. Normally I don't touch the gravity, I just touch the bend. If I increase the bend, it will go more down. If I decrease it, it will come up like this. 
plus the grass length is too much so I will just decrease it to let's say decrease it to 0 0.8 and render again now guys I am satisfied with the grass thickness length taper and its curve or bend but the value of the grass or you can see the quantity of the grass is too less so to increase the quantity of the grass you have to come to distributions and in my distribution right now per face is 10 this is something that I don't like change it to area and increase its value I have already tested, tested them 750 is working perfect for me so it means it will have around 750 first in this area So guys, on the completion of the render, this is the final result that I am getting. But before ending it, I will also do one more thing. If you are using VDF5, sorry, if you are using VDF5, then simply click here and add an exposure and make the contrast 0.1. So this is something that I always do on all of my renders in VDF. Before I end this tutorial, I just wanted to tell you guys that you can see that there are variation of color in my V-Ray fur or in my grass. It is due to the texture that I was using. This one. So when you change your texture, the color of the fur will also change. So I hope guys you like this tutorial. If you like it, give it a like. If you love it, subscribe to my channel, share my videos. Keep creating guys. Bye bye.